Okay, we're inside the history, uh, history, the railroad museum. And the lady said she's going to give us a history of the museum. I think that's really nice. I've been in here before. It's a pretty interesting little museum. And there again, that's we're still at the Wellington Wheat Festival. And we're just going to kind of look around this uh, museum here a little bit. Look at this old safe. Oh my gosh. This must be like a the headlamp. Golden Glow lock, Locomotive Light, Vaseline Glass. That's what that is. It goes actually on the very front. You see it there in the picture? That's what this is right here. Look how large that is. You don't really notice that. Of course, they got all kinds of plates. Really nice. Santa Fe glasses. All kinds of glassware with BNSF and Santa Fe, Amtrak. Some more glassware. Rock Island. Smash trays. Just a little bit of everything. You've got old calendars. Yeah, really, really nice. There's an old. Oh, that's, that's, that's neat. Oh, looky here. <laughs> okay. Must be some sort of a device they used on the tracks for whatever reason. Testing them, maybe. This was road by a track rider to check the tracks. He's on one side of the rail, the arm with the wheel on it extended to the other rail. Well, he could check both tracks at one time. Box behind the seat was for his tool bow. Okay. All right. Huh. Wow. <laughs> a mural in Santa Fe. Train. Here's another picture of the building that we're in. Okay. The building was originally built in 1886, and it was built as a gas manufacturing plant. Wellington had gas street lights. They turned coal into gas in this building. And over here's a picture of when it was the gas, well, after. But anyway, there was a holding tank out here and a big furnace right here. And then when I was in high school, this was our rec center. We went to school over there on the corner. And over the years, it's been many things. But now it is my husband's personal railroad collection. Cool. My dad was a machinist. He started out working for the steam, on steam engines. And then he went to school to learn to work on the diesels. And my husband uh, started out as a fireman and was promoted to engineer and he used to run from here to uh, Wynoke, Oklahoma and then they did the run through and now they go to Amarillo and the Kansas City boys come down here. Okay, so. cool. Anyway. Cool, very interesting. Yeah. And this apparatus right here would have been on an old passenger car. And it would have, when not used, it would have been up like this. And then when somebody went to the restroom and needed to wash their hands, water came in right here. Oh, wow. And they put this down and put this little thing right oh, here. Oh, wow. Wash their hands. And then the water came out right down here. And I don't know for a fact, but I assume 
It had a pipe that went down and it went out on the railroad track. Cool. That's really neat. Yeah. And this over here is a fire hydrant. Of course, you know that. But this used to be out on a branch line. And when a steam engine needed to tank on water, they would just took the hose to it and fill her up. And this cool. was a light that used to be on a caboose. And on the Santa Fe, once a man was promoted to conductor, he got his own caboose. And he kept it stocked with his food and his clothes. And there was a track out in the yards known as the caboose track. And when a particular conductor was going to work, the crew would go get his caboose and have it ready to go on the train going west. Cool. That's very cool. <laughs> I've been here before. I didn't know all this. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's always interesting to hear histories about yeah. things like this. And this bell over here, of course, is just did exactly like the one over there on the train. Hmm. And then, uh, and it had a, you know, the engineer, it had a deal with, from the cab, he could pull it to ring it. And then this one right here worked off the steam. You can see where the steam connected in right here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let me get some lights on over there. Okay. Oh, look at all the old lanterns. Wow. And this baggage cart came from the Wellington Depot. And uh, I'll show you a picture of the old depot in a, a few minutes. But anyway, of course, it, when a person come down to get on the passenger train, they loaded, you know, on here, and then they pulled it out to the train, and the train come in, and... Wow, that's cool. Now, what year would that have been from? What? What year would this have been from, do you know? No. No, okay. The, well, from Wellington Depot, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know what, what year it might have come from, oh. you know. Looks like it's very old. And this is Chessie the Cat. Oh. And there was a Chessie Railroad. And these things have actually, this and this right down here, has been on the display in the Smithsonian Institute. When we opened up the museum, there was a lady that lived here in Wellington. And she had a cousin that worked at the Smithsonian. And she wrote her a letter and asked her if there was anything that they could send back here to the museum. So they sent those pictures along with this right here, Smithsonian. Oh, wow, that's cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it took me forever. See, come over here. See this little light right here? Mm-hmm. There's one just exactly like it right up there. I see that. Cool. But I, it took me forever to realize that, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, I can see that. It is, it's identical. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, these are old fusees, used to be. Oh, really? If a train was going down the track. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to say this as a, if a train was a 40 mile an hour mover, but it could not go 40 mile an hour, somebody on the train would throw one of these down every 10 minutes. And if a train come up behind them and one of these were burning, they had to stop till it went out and then proceed with caution. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. That is. I didn't know all that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And over here, it used to be when they loaded the cars, they would put one of these on the door and, uh, you know, fix it so that it was locked. And if that train got somewhere and this had been broken, they would have reason to think that somebody had been in that car. So then they looked to see what was gone. Hmm. Okay. That's cool. And this up here is kind of an interesting thing. There used to be a man that was an engineer. He worked on the steam engines. And his wife had a rooming house. And she rented to the rumor, to the railroaders. And um, it, she rented out rooms until he retired. And then when he retired, they took the sign down and put it underneath their house. And that sign stayed there 
till the day they tore the house down and the people that tore it down found it. 